The moment that Iran gets its hands on a nuclear bomb, the world will be a far more dangerous place. Uh, it will mean the end of the nuclear nonproliferation regime and greatly increased danger of nuclear terrorism and of a second holocaust. And it will also mean that we will be plunged into a new Cold War because Iran is not a normal state. It is a messianic revolutionary state that <clears throat> defines itself as the embodiment of a sacred cause. Just as Lenin transformed Russia into the vanguard of the world communist revolution and Hitler transformed Germany into the spear carriers of the master race. So Ayatollah Khomeini transformed Iran into the platform for global jihad. When Khomeini took power, he said, Iran is just the beginning. Later he elaborated, I quote, we do not worship Iran, we worship Allah. Let this land go up in smoke, provided Islam emerges triumphant. Like other messianic states, Iran strives to maximize its power in the name of the ideology that it embodies. It seeks dominance in the Middle East, playing on its role as the leader of the Shiites and also as the patron of radicals and rejectionists of all religious stripes. <clears throat> if it gets a nuclear bomb, its grasp for dominance in the region will be immeasurably enhanced. The ultimate result of this process will be either if its neighbors resist, it will be a large regional war, or if its neighbors acquiesce, it will turn the Middle East into a base uh, from which uh, Iran <coughs> will undertake new adventures. Iran's rulers have big dreams. As President Ahmadinejad puts it, quote, thanks to the blood of the martyrs, a new Islamic revolution has arisen which will soon reach the entire world. There are some who say we should take comfort in the fact that we came through the Cold War unscathed. Uh, so do most people the first time they play Russian roulette. Uh, but that is not a good reason to play it a second time. And it's true, as some say, that we've lived with the nuclear bombs in, uh, of Moscow and Beijing. But those regimes embody an ideology which aims to build a new world in the here and now, whereas Tehran embodies an ideology that is focused on the after world. Uh, as its uh, rulers like to say in taunting us, you love life, but we love death. Alas, it's not only their own death that they love, they uh, wish the same even more for us. The official slogan of this regime is death to America. We cannot allow it to have a nuclear bomb.